Hopefully, you know, I don't make a fool of myself. Hi. What's up guys, Christian here, aka C Money RN. Looks like I'm gonna be very having my very first lab workshop via Zoom for my school. And I'm gonna be covering eyes, ears, and neck assessments. As you've seen in my previous video, I am in a course called Advanced Health Assessment. And it's kind of weird because you know when you go through nursing school, you take assessment 101, and so you don't realize that there is an advanced health assessment. So in this course, I get to learn how to write soap notes, I get to do you know full head-to-toe assessments, look for more details as opposed to as I was in regular nursing school for my BSN. Looks like I got some final prep information for this assignment. Final preparation, you're performing an Otis scope, ophthalmoscope, thyroid lymph node assessment, no nasal or mouth exam. He will be in a virtual lab with a family member as patient. You and patients will wash your hands before and after the event. You and your patient will wear a mask throughout the practice time. Clean your equipment with alcohol before and after use. This is practice time and it is not graded nor will be penalized in any for not working with a patient. Please let me know if you have any questions. You guys, this is not too much pressure, I guess. You know, for the point of this assignment, it's just really about all about practice. We're talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We're talking about practice. It's not going to be like that final assessment that you're expected to do at the very end of the semester. Now, that's graded and that's super weighted. And, you know, that's probably like half of your grade. But this assignment's just, you know, to really get us into the feel of, you know, assessing, working with other people, and us also getting into the habit of, you know, being online doing these assessments online and it's kind of tricky because you know as a nurse i'm used to doing face-to-face -face assessments especially when working with patients because that's the only way to find out information about them so to do it via online and i guess we live in a world now where we have a lot of technology we have things like telehealth where we could do assessments online it's just something that we have to learn and adapt to so for this course i'm going to be utilizing the uh, jarvis physical examination health assessment textbook this is the same textbook I used in nursing school for my BSN, but it is just a different edition. And then something also cool that we were able to, you know, look into is this new resource. It's called the OSCEs uh, videos. So we're going to be watching these videos. Uh, it's part of the Bates Visual Guide website and, you know, kind of just gives us a, a general run through of how to conduct all these assessments, some interactions. And, you know, I'm going to watch this video. And I'm just going to learn, you know, kind of go through with it, especially the, the topics that we want to go over is uh, the chest pain, sore throat, and cough. Because, you know, later on during the day, I'll be tested on one of those three elements, and I'm expected to just, you know, perform a, you know, regular assessment. So, overall, I'm just going to watch a couple of these videos in preparation, and this is going to be part of the preparation part, you know, where we're going to have that online experience from, you know, getting getting instructions from the uh, the teachers on the Zoom course. So I'm just going to watch a couple of these videos and then uh, we'll start class uh, in just a few minutes. So I just spent a couple minutes reviewing uh, some of the stuff I have to go over for when performing these assessments. And like I said, again, you know, I am going to be covering a lot of this material during the first half of this online course. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and just sign on to the Zoom class. Hopefully it's gonna be muted so they don't hear me. So everyone's just kind of just logging in, getting all their equipment set up, and I'm just gonna see how this day is. And you know, I'm looking forward to, you know, spending time with my classmates and, you know, getting to listen from these teachers. And it's really interesting, you know, being online, especially in an online course. I'm not I'm not used to having online instruction, you know, for majority of the time. I'm so used to being able to do um, a lot of my instruction face-to-face -face in a classroom setting at the university. So this is just something to get used to. You know, when you're online or when you're at home and stuff, it's easy to get lazy, you know, you can mess around and uh, you're not super focused at times. But, you know, for this time, I'm going to be as focused as I can and I'm going to have my coffee right here. So I got my coffee. And I'm just going to try to stay, as you know, you say in nursing school, awake, alert, oriented times four. So we're just going to wait until everyone logs in. We're going to wait till the teachers come in and get ready for this instruction. And we're just going to learn. We're going to have fun. Let's take a deep breath. Yep. Everybody's just... <sighs> Today, as far as I'm concerned, whatever that Let's may be. Go. And then you just place the ophthalmoscope top on the base and then you twist okay and it structures on the inside of the eye 
As you can see, if you if you turn your ophthalmoscope on and you look into, and it's really hard for me to show this, and I'm so sorry, there is a number here on the um, head of the ophthalmoscope. might look different. This one looks a little different than maybe what you have at home. You should hold, um, this should be held in the hand that correlates with the side of the ear that you're examining. The scope that correlates with the side of the ear to be examined part of the ear is right here. I'm hoping you can see me pull this. That's the part of the ear that you're going to pull. Um, you're going to lift it up and back with the adult. Whereas with the child, you're going to pull that pina down and back. In order to visual... Now, push the gland to the opposite side and have the patient point her chin in that direction. Palpate the displaced tissue with the other hand. In each position, the gland should feel smooth with no nodules. So guys, I just finished the first half of that course. Uh, for the second part, we now we are on a one hour lunch break. So I'm gonna go ahead and meet with my patient that I'm gonna use, which is my friend. And uh, just gonna grab all my stuff here. Gonna put my stuff in here. So we're gonna actually have time during the rest of the day to practice our assessments, what we learned in class. And then we're going to be good to go. So I'm all set. I have about one hour to get to my friend's place. And we are good to go. Let's get it. All right, guys. So I'm over at my friend's house. And right now I am working on my assessment portion. Got the ophthalmoscope, the ear scope, the otoscope. Let's go ahead and assess right now. We're going to take a look at the ear canal. Shine the light. And then you look into the ear. <laughs> So first you want to ask the patient first, you know, hey, is it okay, you know, if I look into your ear, you're just going to feel some pressure, but you don't mind. Is that alright with you? <laughs> patient agrees. And you want to move the pin of the ear up and back when assessing the ear. So take, make note of any swelling, inflammation, bleeding, or discharge. And then you take this black piece right here, and you want to put it into it so that you're not causing direct contact into the ear. You got what you want to look for? The dynamic membrane, which should be gray, translucent, gray, pearly in color. Then you look for the light reflex. So left ear is going to be at my seven o'clock. And then on the right ear, so I'm going to take a look at the right, you look for the tympanic membrane once again, enter the ear, gray in color, and you'll see the light reflex at your, uh, your five o'clock. Hell yeah! Boom! I just did it! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> your, your, your classmates can see you. All right, guys, so I just got done with the focused assessment part, which was interesting enough, you know, I wasn't graded on what I learned today, the otoscope, the ophthalmoscope. I was more so graded on uh, three different factors. So we were separated into groups, and we had to choose between either chest pain, sore throat, and cough. So I was able to do a focused assessment based on um, someone having chest pain. So I asked proper questions such as, you know, what brought on the chest pain, how severe it is, what are associating factors. And then we also had to connect it to four body systems. So in this case, I connected it to GI because, you know, sometimes chest pain could be related to GI, like um, acid reflux. I associated to the heart. I picked four different systems and overall it was a good learning experience. And for a very first time on Zoom for this lab, which was a little bit weird to me because I'm so used to doing it in person. It was a good experience and uh, overall had a good time. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Comment below if you have any questions and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Bustling through the bears that try to contain me Moving on up, making moves of money endlessly How you think I got this name? See money, it's my specialty